Is it okay to film with a blue mouth? Hi everybody, it's Michelle here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I'd do a fun video doing a review on the black seaweed peel-off mask I talked about in my haul video, the last video I did. If you haven't seen it, I'll link it up here. I think up here, one of the corners, and you can watch it. So this is the Seventh Heaven Black Seaweed Peel Off Mask with that creepy lady on the front. And I thought it'd be fun to just film a video of a review and a first impressions type thing. So let me explain my appearance. I just took a shower, got all clean, washed my face and everything to prepare for this mask. And I have also been enjoying the very refreshing treat of a Blue Raspberry Airhead Freeze from Taco Bell. My teeth are blue, my tongue is blue, it's going to be a great time. First, uh, let's learn about this mask. So it is a deep pore detox easy peel mask. I really hope it is easy. And on the back it says that it includes crushed sea salt, pressed sea buckthorn, and harvested, harvested laver seaweed. Laver seaweed. The description on the back here says feel like a holiday with harvested laver or laver seaweed from the Welsh seaside and crushed sea buckthorn. You'll feel like you're a million miles away. This detoxifying oh my gosh, there's a mosquito. It needs to leave. <laughs> oh my gosh, I caught it in my hand. I feel like a ninja. Well, one less mosquito in the world. You're welcome. You'll feel like you're a million miles away. This detoxifying peel-off mask will cleanse and purify, leaving skin feeling like new. Regular use will clear away excess sebum. You know what a gross word is? Sebum. Oh, it also says we're vegetarian and animals are our friends! That's why we don't use... we don't bash bunnies or add bits of animals. Very nice, Seventh Heaven. And the instructions say cleanse, apply, relax for 20 to 25 minutes until dry, and then peel it off. So, okay, I'm cleansed, let's apply it. So I've clipped up my hair, I've also secured my little stray hairs with a bobby pin so it doesn't get in my face with the mask on it. Okay, opening it up, there's a hair on this. Gross, whose hair is that? It's mine. It's my hair. Alright, it didn't open very easily. So far it's not going well. Okay, I want to like get in there. Oh. A first appearance of the mask on my thumb. Okay, I'm just going to squeeze it out the top. I'm going to smell it first. It smells... It smells like bubbles. <laughs> you know when you were a kid and you wanted to play with bubbles and your mom gets out the like tube of bubbles and the bubble wand? That's what it's reminding me of. Like bubbles. A bubble mixture. Okay. Oh, my, I might have just got that in my hair. <laughs> Great. Alright, I'm going to squeeze some out. Looks gross. Putting it on. Okay, it feels very refreshing and cool. <laughs> Looks really good with my blue tongue. It really just smells like bubble bath or something, though. It is very inexpensive, though, so I'm sure it's not like... I'm squeezing this in the worst way possible, but I only want to <laughs> get one hand dirty because I have to like leave the room and touch that door handle and maybe touch something on my camera, so I want to leave one hand clean. I'm going to try to knock it up near my eyes. I want to do under the nose though. <laughs> oh my goodness, this is difficult just using the little screen on my camera as a mirror. Some more there. Oh, I'm doing this very messily. Wow, I look great though. Makes my eyes pop. Oh no, I got it in my eyebrows. That might prove to be disastrous later. A little bit more. My forehead's just so big, I have to cover all of it. Well, I don't have to, but I want to. I want to detoxify all my skin. I'm usually much cleaner putting on masks, but you know. I've never done it in front of a camera before. <laughs> that blue tongue. Oh, um, I'm ridiculous. I have a feeling this is going to be difficult to peel off because I'm not applying it very evenly. So if you get a mask like this, make sure to take time to apply it evenly because it'll probably make your life easier later. Oh! Oh, you missed it. There was a little bubble at the top. It was really cute. Probably because it's really bubble bath. It feels very luxurious and fancy though to use a seaweed mask like that. Seems like a good 
skincare thing. I'm squeezing from the bottom. Trying to get a lot of it out. Maybe under the chin. It smells very soapy. Very soapy, everybody. <laughs> I look great, don't I? <laughs> Alright, so I've applied it to my whole face. I'm now going to relax for 20 to 25 minutes and then I'll come back to try to peel it off. Oh! <laughs> We'll see how that goes. My mask has been on for about 10 minutes. I'm gonna give you a little update. I had to put up the rest of my hair because little pieces kept falling and getting stuck in the mask. It's very hard to <laughs> talk. And it's getting really shiny, as you can tell. So it will be easy to peel off, I hope. I mostly just feel it tightening my skin, but hopefully it's detoxifying my pores as well. Yeah, it will dry for about 10 more minutes and then I will peel it off. So exciting. Okay, that is my 20 minute alarm. It's time to peel off the mask. And I actually cheated a little bit. I peeled the tiniest bit off my neck right here. It was really easy, but it was a really thin piece of it. So, okay, after 20 minutes of drying, it has dried much more. <laughs> Made my face quite more tight, tighter. Made my face tighter. Oh, look at that one, I wrinkle my forehead. That feels so weird. And it's shinier. You can see the reflection of my like studio lights. It's quite shiny. And now I'm going to try to peel it off some more. I'm going to try to get close and peel it off. Okay, here we go. It's peeling. I actually really regret how much I got it on my eyebrow right here. I got it a little bit on this side. Not too bad, but mostly like on this whole eyebrow, if you can see that. Hmm, not really what I should have done, I don't think. Okay, here's the edge. Oh, it sounds horrible. Oh, it's a little bit painful. <laughs> but it's not too bad. It is not too bad. Okay, the... Okay, it's hurting a little more. <laughs> it's probably gonna make me cry. <laughs> I'm gonna see if I can tear it right here. Okay, I wanna focus on this part down here. Uh, ow, 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 ow. It's getting... My skin, I do have a couple spots and pimples right there. It's a bit more sensitive right there and it hurts. <laughs> oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> okay, it's coming off, that's good. <laughs> Getting it off my neck right here. Oh, it feels so good to be able to move my face again. Ow. Oh, this edge of my nose hurts so bad. Ooh. Okay. Okay, so far so good. It doesn't take too much effort to pull it off. It just hurts a little bit. Ooh, that's gross. Okay, okay, okay. I'm getting close to the eyeball. Alright. We can do this. We can do this. I have to get this little part right here. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm saying okay a lot. Peeling, more peeling, more peeling, more peeling. Time for the forehead and my eyebrows. I might not have any eyebrows after this. Mm. Okay, so far. Okay, now it's on the part where I got quite a bit of it on my eyebrow. Okay, that part hurt, but I'm okay. I'm okay, I'm doing okay. Okay, I'm looking at it to see if there's any cool pore clearing evidence I can show you. I will deal with that in a moment. Was this my chin? This was my chin, okay. I'm looking at the part that was on my chin, and you can see some little holes where it, like, where it shows where my pores are. From what I can tell, there isn't any, like, gunk on it. You know what I mean? Wow. Maybe I should wait for <laughs> Look how good. <laughs> this looks like a huge <laughs> eyebrow. That is so funny. Focus on my new eyebrow. There we go. That looks really good. This was the part that was against my nose. I think you can see little holes like where my pores came clean maybe? But there's no like gunk on it to prove that stuff was cleared out of my skin. My skin feels smooth. 
maybe slightly smoother than it did before. <laughs> I have to get rid of this, it's too much. Let's see if it pulls my whole eyebrow out. Yeah, just a few hairs. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, this is painful. When you do peel off masks, don't get it in your eyebrow, okay? It still smells a lot like soap, I don't know if I said that already. Oh, I have all these little hairs right here. Okay, took out some of my hairs. Took out multiple hairs on the side of my face right there. And a few more little pieces right here. Ow! Oh! My face is so hairy right there. Well, not anymore. It used to be. Moments ago. Little bits on my neck. Pulling more of my eyebrows out. Ow. Okay, so final thoughts. It made my skin a bit smoother. I wish it showed, like, gunk on the mask. I feel like that would just be so great. Some general peeling mask recommendations I have for you. Do not get it on your eyebrow or up near your hairline because you have all these baby hairs and when you pull it out it will hurt a lot. Apply it as evenly as you can because then it will be easier to peel off. But it was fun. It was fun to peel it off my face. That was great. I'm excited to try other peel off masks. I want to try some other good ones. If you have any recommendations for peel off masks, please put them in the comments below because I want to try them out. I love masks and I knew I would like peel off masks and so I want to try some more really good ones and oh my tongue <laughs> it's still blue <laughs> and thank you so much for watching this first impressions slash review video of that black seaweed peel off mask I hope you enjoyed it if you did give it a thumbs up and that's all I have for you I hope you have a great day I'll see you in my next video bye